lift up your voice, begin to call upon the Lord, that Lord, put an end to every global disaster, that there will be supernatural liberation, arrest the floods of devastation, arrest the floods of destruction. Arrest the enemy in his tracks, stop all the pain and the plague and the suffering and see now the entire nations and the earth is groaning in pain, waiting for the earnest manifestation of the sons of God. And you are here tonight, lift up your voice and call upon the Lord, lift up your voice and say, Lord, bring deliverance. Lord, bring a freedom. Lord, let your power reign, let your freedom reign, reign in the nations, stop the husband of death. Stop the horseman of destruction. Stop the horseman of disease. The hymn writer said, he said, Earth's joys grow dim and its glories pass away, change and decay in all around I see. But Lord, helper of the helpless tonight, abide with us. Helper of the helpless tonight, send your deliverance. In Jesus' name we pray. Now we're going to pray. We know that Satan is the god of war. He maims, he mangles, and he massacres. I want us to pray against all wars, against all earthquakes, cyclones, floods, accidents, fires, calamities. These things are not just natural. Sometimes we say they are natural disasters. But let us pray. Everything unnatural, everything that comes from the pit of hell, wars, earthquakes, cyclones, floods. Let's talk to the Lord. Now the Lord will put an end to these things as they ravage the earth, as they go from coast to coast, from continent to continent, from sea to shining sea, bringing devastation. The Lord's hand will stop them. Your prayer of faith will stop them. Let's lay hold upon the promises of God. The millennial promises, the word of God said, beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation anymore. You can pray that prayer that Lord, let them not lift up their sword anymore. Whether it's in the Balkan seas, whether it's in northern Europe, whether it's in the southern hemisphere, that the hand of God will stay the sword. Turn the sword into plowshares. Turn the weapons, the sabers, as they are rattling their sabers and jostling for war, wanting influence, seeking ascendancy and supremacy, your prayer tonight, your amen tonight, your trust in God tonight will bring a change to things. Their own prophets are crying. They're saying, heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. People are dying. And if you care enough for the living, make the world a better place. That's what their prophets are saying. That's a terrestrial appeal. But we now, we have a celestial injunction. We have celestial tell authority. Let's stop the violence. Let's stop the virulence. Let's stop the works of the enemy. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. A louder amen. Tonight, the Lord is lighting the flame of the gospel across the whole world. The flame of the gospel, the flame of glory, and the flame of grace. That's why we're going to pray that the Lord will grant you and your family supernatural liberation and protection. The Lord will protect you. He'll grant you divine immunity. Your home, your house, your habitation, where you dwell will be a Goshen on the earth. Talk to God in prayer. The Lord will do it for you. No hail in Goshen, no fire in Goshen, no darkness in Goshen, no death in Goshen, no hail, no hell, no harassment. The Lord is here for you. He's your helper. Healing is for you. Holiness is for you. Helpers have come for you. Deliverance is for you. And the Father's love and circle you and connecting you and upholding you and strengthening. I see grace coming your way and the goodness of God. Pray now. Pray. Talk to God in prayer. and say, Lord, Goshen must be my own inheritance. Sweden, a Goshen for you. Saskatchewan, a Goshen for you. St. Petersburg, if you're there, Goshen for you right there. Manila, if you're there. Mambila in North Carolina, a Goshen for you. Right where you are in Tampa, you'll find Goshen. You'll find goodness. You'll find 
grace. You'll find mercy over there in India. The Lord is there for you. In Indiana, the precious blood of Jesus has come for you. In Namibia, in Lusaka, in Paris, anywhere you are, the Goshen of glory the Goshen of goodness, the Goshen of the power of God. The Lord is here for you. He will protect you. Supernatural liberation and supernatural divine deliverance. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. All over the world, the spirit is moving. All over the world. And tonight, the Lord is filling the earth with the knowledge of the glory of God as the waters cover the sea. So we're going to pray that the Lord will pour out the spirit of salvation. It's a spirit, sweet spirit, sweet Holy Spirit, that he will pour out the spirit of redemption and the spirit of salvation in all our lands. And it will make the people conscious of God and grant them a distaste and a disdain for sin and every ungodly practice. Lift up your voice that the the Lord will flow. As he flows, he brings cleansing. As he flows, he brings deliverance. As he flows, he brings salvation. As he brings, as he flows, he brings healing and health and life and salvation. As he flows, the desire for ungodliness is wiped away. Our gospel is hit to the lost. They are blinded, but let the light shine. The shine of God. Let the light shine. The light of salvation and the light of redemption and the light of the nations. Where you are in your nation, the light is coming to you is coming right here from the crusade ground is coming to your family is coming inside your home for God who commanded the lights to shine out of darkness he has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Tonight, the Lord is lighting the flame of the gospel and is bringing grace to bed. Let us pray that God will bring conviction of sin to the souls of men. Conviction of sin to the souls of men. Talk to God in prayer. Conviction is coming. And the Lord will reprove their hearts and draw them to the cross to experience the love and the goodness of God. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to ask the Lord that he will bring new converts from this program. New converts, they will, they, the inner man will be changed. They will be encouraged to be fixed and focused upon heavenly things. The Lord will do it. As we're praying tonight, as we're saying amen tonight, as we're believing God tonight, the Lord will do it in Jesus' name. And tonight, I want you to talk to God in prayer you will not be a statistic i said you will not be a statistics you will celebrate victory and dominion and conquest pray that evil will not overcome you the evil work the evil way the evil man the evil will we wrestle evil to the ground and behold i beheld satan as lightning falling down from heaven tonight the lord has come for you talk to god in prayer i said lord i will not be overcome of evil i will overcome evil with good in jesus name we pray finally tonight is the night of power somebody shout power the night of power power beyond the stars power beyond the skies power that sets free the power of the Holy Ghost so you are going to pray tonight that the Lord will touch you in particular tonight pray that you will receive supernatural liberation that you will receive the answers to all your prayers as the man of God as the general superintendent, as the apostle of faith, as it comes up now, you will not go empty-handed. The apostle is here, the apostle of the mandate. The apostle is here, always backed up by God. And that God, he will do you good tonight. Talk to God in prayer. I say, Lord, do me good. The mandate of freedom, the mandate of deliverance, the mandate of salvation, the mandate for my healing, a global touch, a global freedom, a global goodness. Oh, Lord, touch me. Father, we thank you for tonight. We bless your mighty name. We hear echoes of mercy. We feel whispers of love. We know you have come down for us, for to bless us, for to do us good. We thank you for the name of Jesus, the name above all names, the name of peace, the name of power, the name of protection, the name of prosperity. And Lord, we're asking tonight all over the world that the lights of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ 
Christ will shine out from this crusade ground, bringing health and healing and salvation and mercy to your people tonight in Jesus' name. We lift up your servant, the apostle of the mandate, and we're asking that through him, signs and wonders will be done in the name of your holy child, Jesus, and you'll be glorified. We thank you, our Heavenly Father. We give you praise. We love you from our hearts. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. Amen. Please, you can have your seat. Thank you, Pastor, for that wonderful.